Hello everyone. Today I have a very special surprise for you. Something that will make the entire process of doing your thesis a lot more easier for you. Let's find out more, shall we? Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. To those of you who are new here, my name is Anmol. I'm a doctor based in India. And on this channel, I talk about all the things relevant to being a doctor and a dermatologist that I learned along the way. This is the second video in a series of videos where I talk about everything related to thesis in postgraduate dermatology residency start to finish. You can also watch the previous video in the series where I talk about all the factors to consider while choosing your thesis topic. So I'll put the link in the description for that one. Now, if you think about it, why does thesis seem like such a giant scary task? The main reason I believe is the unfamiliarity and the lack of orientation associated with it. There are so many questions in your mind before you begin. Firstly, what exactly is the procedure? Where to begin? What is the initial office paperwork to be done? What is the procedure of getting an ethics committee approval? What do you have to do to get title and synopsis approval from the university? Secondly, and more importantly, how to go about the study? You've never done a research study before. So what is the ideal way to do it? Where to begin? How to collect data for your study? What is a case record form and how should you formulate it? What are the contents of a thesis? When and in what order are you supposed to write them? What exactly is review of literature and how is it supposed to be done? What is a master chart? How do you interpret the results of your study and how do you write a discussion for your thesis? Honestly, from what I've understood from my experience, uh, there are a lot of technicalities associated with doing your thesis, conducting the study, as well as writing your thesis that nobody really ever tells you about. You do need someone to guide you exactly step by step on what is to be done. How is it to be done? What is the ideal way of conducting this study and how are you supposed to write it then? I mean, I do remember taking the help of my seniors, of course, but it is not practically possible for one person to guide you step by step regarding everything and give you a complete orientation. Of course, they can guide you with small things if you have any small queries or um, they can share their material with you. But simply having an already done thesis as a template uh, is not enough. There are some basic concepts and technicalities that need to be understood. So I felt like there was this need for a resource that had all the information in one place on how to go about your thesis right from getting the IEC approval to completing your thesis, the entire procedure step by step all in one place. And that is the surprise that I have for you today. Based on my own experience, I've created this PDF document that clearly elaborates step by step on how to go about doing your thesis. It is a 29 page PDF document divided into two parts. The first part mainly addresses the office work and the paperwork, the initial paperwork associated with your thesis. That is the entire process of getting the IEC approval and the procedure to get the university title and synopsis approval. I've also mentioned the documents that are required for this process and I've attached sample formats uh, so that you know how to prepare those documents. In the second part, I've mentioned the exact step-by-step -step procedure of doing your thesis and how to write your thesis. Here, I've addressed very fine details that I think are very important and you must know regarding how to conduct your thesis and how to write it that we are not really aware of as first years. For example, how to formulate a good case record form, when to start with review of literature and how exactly should you go about it, what is an efficient way of collecting data for your study, how to write the discussion part of your thesis, by the time you figure these things out for yourself, it's too late. Because I realized this while doing my thesis that there were things that I wish that I had realized earlier, which could have probably saved me a lot of time and energy and at the same time made the whole process more efficient. So that is what I've tried to do for you here. The purpose behind this project is simple. Firstly, I want all dermatology residents to have a very clear understanding of uh, all the important things that they need to know about conducting and writing a thesis. So I want there to be absolute clarity so that there is no fear or anxiety associated with the task. Secondly, since it's the first study of your career, you are bound to be lost and not have a very clear idea on how you're supposed to go about it. This will guide you about all the things that you need to know regarding the right way of conducting and writing your thesis in order to get quality results. Finally, it will also save you a lot of effort in terms of time and energy. I remember having to keep asking here and there, okay, now what to do? Where to get this from? Okay, oh, so then what is the next step? What are we supposed to do after that? How are we supposed to do this? So this will bring together all the important information for you in one place, start to finish. 
So here's an overview of the things that I've covered in this document. Have a look. If you like the idea and if you're interested in acquiring this for yourself, please click on the first link in the description. I sincerely hope that this helps you immensely in your thesis journey and makes the entire process a lot more easier for you and smoothens it out. Let me know if you have any queries, leave a comment or get in touch with me uh, via email or on Instagram. If you like my content, please show your support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.